flowers obviously are a recurring subject for you. Tell me about how you got on that tangent, how long ago, and, and why you continue with that as a passionate subject. I love playing with color, and they're just puzzles. They're, they're dances with color. It's, it's putting in the, the vase and the big streams, and then it just just does a flow and a flutter, and it just it just becomes alive in itself. I'm just sort of the mediator, the <laughs> facilitator. Mediator. Yes. Okay. Yes, and then what color goes where, and what what like doing this. And so, what do I fill in with the spaces and what, who, it's like the colors are talking. It's like, okay, I want some green there, and red, okay, pink, purple. It's just, time just flies by. It's, the time doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. Yes. You get lost in the process of, of painting. Yes. Um, a lot of artists can't start unless they have like a, a very elaborate sketch either beside them or, or on the canvas or on the board. I, I take it you don't do that at all? No, no, no. I'm a gesture, go, and it's about the, 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 the piece filling them in the space. And it's just, I have no, that's why I don't get frustrated. <laughs> that's why I love what I do. There's no frustration, there's no anger, there's no disappointment. Mm -hmm. It's all one decision at a time. And that's what makes it fun. And when to stop, that's the big decision. That's, a, that's always a hard one, I think, for a lot of artists. Yeah. Um, do, or do you have to, are there times when you aren't satisfied and you have to start over? Or? Oh, no, no. Never start Never. over. It always no. works out. It's just like life. You got it. <laughs> Stay you, with you it. Made that, but, well, that, was a, that, was, that is a very important question. So my mother always told me never erase. <laughs> Never erase. Your brain did that, your mind did that. Go with it. It did it for a reason. Mm -hmm. So keep going. Keep going with that. And have you ever gone too far and thought, oh, I've messed, I've messed up now, or, or you just accept that it's yeah. okay? Acceptance. Yeah, acceptance. And if I'm not happy, I'll put it down, walk away, do something else, and come back. So you, you paint on more than one thing at a time often? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I have a big <laughs> studio with it. It's, it's, it's lots of toys. <laughs> lots of toys. And sometimes, you know, when I... Paint. Sometimes you know it's a very physical thing, and sometimes when I have low energy days, that's when I do the uh, clay, clay, the mm -hmm. sculpture, the birds. That's a very intimate, intimate thing. Which is more of a, a fine motor skill compared to these grand gestures. Yeah. Now I know you like large scale, um, and a lot of artists can find that in and of itself intimidating, such as this piece right here. Um, it's hard to imagine that you created this piece without knowing, without having a road map. No, 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 that would not be fun. <laughs> no, 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 this one is zoom. But this was fun, you know, you can see my, my initial moves. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, and I do this a lot with my fingers. Right. This is like finger painting. I see. This is all, this is all pushed in. And then decided then then I have all these shapes and it's where to put the colors. And, and like this is just so exciting. This just excites me. <laughs> you know, these colors next to each other. Mm -hmm. And then you do it and then you get back. It's like, wow. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, let's go there and there and there and there. Yeah, it's just playtime. And the, the uh, most taller, the Alabama folk artist, he used to paint, he was kind of known for having uh, gallons of house paint and painting wet on top of wet. Um, given how ins instinctual your painting style is, do you paint on top of paint when it's still still wet? Yes, I even mix my paint on the, on the thing, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So that's that's how you come up with yeah. surfaces like that? Yeah, and just seeing how they meld together on top of, yeah, so they going over, you know, put the pink on top of the yellow, and yeah, and the, you can tell that that was wet when I did it, mm -hmm. and that was dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a combination. Yeah. Um, and I know you, you favor these large uh, pieces. For you, when you're working on these, 
uh, you've mentioned before that it's a physical act, that you're almost dancing in front of the, the, the painting while you're creating it. Um, you must get tired physically from doing that. I'm mean, energized, but also it must be kind of at some point you need to rest, right? T tell me a little bit about your process. I know you're an early riser. Yes, well, that's why when I wake up, that's my spirit and my energy and clean head, very clean. And it's just that I make my coffee about <laughs> four thirty-five in the morning, have have two sips, and by that time I'm just painting. <laughs> I'm just painting. Then I'll, I'll work till about noon, take a nap <laughs> till two o'clock, eat something, and then I can paint from five to eight, and then crash. <laughs> so it's it's you know it's a it's it's a life. You go all into it. Well, people say, Teresa, what do you do for fun? <laughs> I <say> paint. <laughs> People get frustrated, like, don't you need, like, a social life or, or something, like... Not really. Not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. good, I'm good. Yeah, I got my sushi. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what, what about when you, so if painting large is a physical act, what about when you paint small? Is it, is, is it a different, yes, more, more yes. refined sort of... Well, what, well, to make it exciting for me, I'll have, you know, five small ones out. And I'll just do the whole thing, you know. And so you're moving even on those. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you use acrylic paint or oil paint acrylic. or acrylic? acrylic? And tell me why you favor that. I can't do the fumes. Oh, okay. So yeah. the choice is kind of made for you. Yes. Yeah. Now, some artists, uh, they're not so much into the frame. They paint the paintings and they don't want to put a frame on it. For you, the frame seems to be part of the composition. Can you? talk about how you, those choices too because it seems like it's a very creative thing for you. Yeah, it's like giving it honor. <laughs> it, yeah, I, I, you know, I said, okay, I'm gonna, I bought these <clears throat> canvases, you know, with the thick, that you can just put them, I was like, no, no, this does not, I need a frame. I need, hmm. I need the honor, I need, hmm. it's, yeah. it's part, it's part of it. Yeah, yeah. So, so are you, are the frames already, is there a frame, a raw, raw frame around the painting when you start, or are you add it? No, my boyfriend, he, he does a lot of that, and then I paint them. Okay. It depends, but I, he made some, and then I do all this, mm -hmm. all the carving and stuff, and painting, but if I make it, it would be cockeyed, and, you know, <laughs> and you can tell the ones I made. <laughs> I am not nowhere near a perfectionist. <laughs> I am a carpenter, but not a perfectionist. Okay. I don't use a measuring tape. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Do you um, have you always painted flowers? Has that been a subject for you from since the beginning? I've always loved flowers. My mother, she always had fresh flowers at home, and I know the world is good when there's fresh flowers around. Hmm. It's a good thing. <laughs> yes. Um, the, uh, talk about the, you know, you, you get a lot of joy, obviously, out of the act of painting, but I know that you've mentioned before that what this is really about is giving the joy. And I, I, I imagine that when you're painting, you're thinking about that a little bit too. Or maybe you think about it when it's done, that that's what it's really all about. I tell you, I just, I just do this for my inner being. <laughs> and when I share it to the, you know, to the outside, and then when someone connects with it, and they decide to take it home and put it on their wall, that is such an honor. <laughs> it really, I, I'm just, I'm just so grateful. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, you, uh, you don't know what the paintings are really, when you're working on an exhibit, I imagine it's hard to really see the, to see the through line. Uh, do, are you yourself surprised once you start hanging a show at the inner relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I put them on a white wall and, 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 and in the room with the lights, it's, Bang. <laughs> you see things that maybe you didn't see when you were even painting yeah, well, them? Well, just, you know, because in the studio they're, you know, lying, you know, and, but then, 
And we're back to the word of honor of a white wall. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, do you feel like your work uh, evolves as you go along? And, and that's, what's the that's, that's, that's what's so interesting. Is I can't even copy myself. Huh. And I have done so many paintings. And each one of them is so different. Because it's what, what paints I have on hand, what, it's, it's, each one is so different. It's, it's amazing to me. So, so you feel like you come up with different colors at different times? Uh... Yeah, it's, it's just a, a wonderland. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's it and, keeps it exciting. And I'm guessing that you're, you're pretty much of a paint mixer too. You're, you're not a straight out of the no. tube ever sort of person. No. You've, got, you've got to come up with colors that are your colors. Yeah, I mean some colors, like that yellow, I'm not happy with that yellow. It's, <laughs> it's not my yellow. <laughs> but like that yellow, I love that yellow. <laughs> and to, to me, I'm not the artist, but to me, it doesn't seem that drastically different. Uh -huh. But I, I take your word because it's got your name on it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, even like white. There are so many different whites. It's right. crazy. <laughs> and blue. Blue is really fun to play with. There are so many blues. You could go so many places with right. blue. And blue seems to be a, a particularly favorite color of yours. And I see a lot of gold popping up on this, this, gold? this show. Yes, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. gold and yellows. Yeah, the. Uh, what is not, 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 not necessarily pure gold, although there's one, there's a yellowy gold. But. I think it's like a raw sienna or something. Uh -huh. oh, I'm not okay. quite sure if it's technical. Mm -hmm. But it's a, yeah. But certainly a lot of yellowy golds for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Along with the blues and rose colors. Um, do you grow flowers yourself? No. No. <laughs> you, make, you, you grow them. <laughs> You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, but I do make sure to have fresh flowers at home. Mm -hmm. I, those are so important to me. In, in, in your mind, when you're painting the flowers, are they a, a particular, um, are they a particular flower to you? Or well, that's what's like funny. The that, that's what's funny. You know, like, this is, I love this movement. Uh huh. Circle right and, then, and then I met a real monoculus. Oh, that's a ranaculus. <laughs> so these are just out of my head. Huh. And then I say, like, oh, that is that. But no, these are just shapes and and nothing is real. Well, you have a lot of confidence, obviously, that when, to step up to a, a, a big empty board or empty canvas and to create something without a sketch. Has that been with you your whole career? Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is just, get it out. It's <laughs> all in, it's just get it out. Um, well, what would you say you have, uh, you've been doing this for close to 30 years. Is there something you know now that you didn't know when you started? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> it's a color that was not in your... It's, it's a difficult, I'm, I'm learning to love yellow and I'm learning how the depths of yellow. Yes. Hmm. And there's there's not a lot of uh, uh, the, the exhibit includes a lot of of your handmade birds, um, which are also painted and have the beautiful same beautiful colors on them. Um, tell me about that though, because though that is a that's a different act. First of all, it's a different material. Um, I guess it merges with the paint in the respect that they're with the paintings in the respect that they're painted with a lot of paint. Colors, but it's a, it's more of a craft. Um, it, do you have the same sort of instinct when you're making those? Oh yes, yeah, but well, that came from uh, being bedridden and, and um, cancer. Mm. That I had to find a project to do in bed, mm -hmm. and that was just perfect. Mm. So if you, they're just, it's just, I can just focus and concentrate and carve, and then the, then after that's all done then I can go to the color and the paint. But, mm -hmm. but the, and the feeling of accomplishment, that's, I have, 
goals. I, I need to get something accomplished every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. So that's so that's that's the connection. Because they're small, they're you know they're breakable, they're delicate. Um, it's a craft. Um, yes, they are painted, but it is it does seem like something very different. But it must be it must be rewarding to have to, yes. to simply make it's, it's the kind of that, that satisfaction. That's the word. Kind of the grand gesture of painting, but it sounds like it's just as rewarding to you. Absolutely. We'll have to show some of those. So, so Teresa, there's, there's uh, very large paintings such as the one in the window. Um, and then there are these very small, delicate. Pieces made out of clay, uh, beautiful birds. Obviously, they're painted and they share the, some of the colors of the painting, but they're a very different kind of object. So, t tell me how you got into those, creating those. I had to find a project when I didn't, when I don't have the energy to do this. And I was going through my uh, being bedridden, cancer stuff. This was the perfect project for being in bed and making these little guys, and then, then, then each 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 of these things is, is uh, carved in there. Hmm. Just these just kept me company. Mm -hmm. they, they have little characters. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then then the treat of being able to paint them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just sit in bed and make these. Um, and you're a bird watcher too, I take it. Yes, and when and then then when I go outside, I paint them. I mm -hmm. paint them outside, and so the birds are watching me. <laughs> it's there's like, who is that lady? <laughs> what is she doing down there? <laughs> Why are these birds? They come down and check it out. Yeah, yeah. When I'm not there, <laughs> and then the other day there was a frog inside of them. Ah. A frog inside the container they were in. They were Just checking making, them out, making sure that they're real. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, so it's clay and then it's something that you bake or yes. air dries or whatever? Yeah, and then, yeah, and that's, that's my treat is to paint them. Uh -huh. That's when they really become alive. And do you, um, do you, similar to the paintings, do you do a, a work on painting a, a group of them at the same time? Yes, 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 a family at a time. And they're small, but I, I'm going to guess that, that it's, it takes a while to it get them the way that you it want does. them. It takes, it, yeah, this is, this is hours and hours and hours. That's a, it's just pure love. It's like a penny an hour. <laughs> Teresa, the, this painting you said is not perfect and you're not worried about it. Tell me about that. Yeah, I'm, I, that's why it's just so much fun. You know, because I'm just going like this and then I'm painting this blue. And if this line isn't perfect, I don't care. That's what makes it alive. That's what makes it fun. If it was perfect, it would be totally boring <laughs> and unstimulated. This, my grandmother was a painter. And she, she, uh, she painted flowers. I'm just having the realization as I looked at this, I'm like, oh my God, that's one of my grandmother's flowers that popped through. That's, I'm having a big moment. <laughs> yeah. What did uh, you quoted a famous artist about perfection? What's that quote? Oh, uh, it Matisse? was it Matisse said, uh, sterility will lead to insanity. <laughs> and that's why you gotta have fun and perfection will drive you insane. <laughs> That's why I'm just having fun. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and this, and this painting, I think, speaks, speaks the truth to that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this makes absolutely no sense, <laughs> except to me at the time. Uh -huh. You know, if, if I had to explain that later, I could Flowers coming down over here onto the ground. It's like they're vines or something. Vines and blooms. Growing. Yeah. <laughs> Ever growing. It's like the base cannot contain all these. Yes, things. I always say that my cup overflows. <laughs> I am so grateful. 